Well, hello there, you beautiful, beautiful people. I hope you are all well. You are looking absolutely amazing. Today has been kind to you as we have now reached that point in the day where it's video two of two. And this video has been spanned by a lot of you reaching out to me. A lot of confusion. Now, this confusion seems to stem around Ethan Chapin. There's a lot of rumours out there. And some of you will know this. And I will bring this up on screen and you'll be like, we know this. Sadly, not everyone does. And I do feel that this little issue is spurning the aforementioned issues surrounding the confusion of what happened to Ethan Chapin. Where did he, in fact and uh, where did he lose his life? Was it in the house? Was it a hospital? Did he go to a hospital and did he then go back to the house? What actually happened? Let's get into it as we meet the second Ethan Chapin. People are freaking out now. So this is indeed Ethan Chapin. Now, could you Adam and Eve it that in the same month that Eden, Ethan Chapin over in Moscow, Idaho, lost his life, that around the same time there was a young lad in, I think it was North Dakota, we'll have a look at it in a second, he of the same name would lose his life too. This lad here is Ethan Chapin, born September 18th, 2002, and sadly lost his life November 27th, 2022. Ethan Chapin, Red Hawk, not even going to attempt to read that, 20, Newtown, died Sunday, November 22nd, 2022, at Minot Hospital. And there we have some information on it. Let's read a little bit about Ethan Chapin. As you can see in the picture, that is not our Ethan Chapin. This is indeed a different Ethan Chapin. And I think that this is where the confusion is coming from, where obviously a Ethan Chapin in November 2022, who sadly lost his life in a hospital, not to be confused with the Ethan Chapin over in Moscow, Idaho, who well and truly was not in hospital. Uh, we don't know if he would have ever been able to have got to hospital because nobody called anybody for quite some time. Ethan uh, made his grand entry into um, to Louis Tiny and Donald Chapin um, on September 8th, 18th, 2022 in Mano, yeah, North Dakota, look, ND. He is the little brother of Arlen and Colony Rain. He res had received his traditional name, Red Hawk, from Pat Black Hawk. Ethan had a blended family and is loved by all who knew him. Arlen, his big brother, was Ethan's caretaker, while his sister, Colony, was his partner in mischief. Colony and Ethan could be found wrestling and battling, but she was always his fiercest protector. They were always together everywhere they went. He always followed her around. Ethan had a generous and loving nature about him. He had the most beautiful smile and loved telling stories. He had a loving and faithful partner in his dog, Tito. Ethan enjoyed sports, participating in basketball, football and wrestling. His favourite football team is the Vikings. Ethan was a member of the Newtown Eagles youth football team and they won the first Chairman's Football Championship. Ethan loved everything that had to do with the outdoors. He always had a competitive nature and would try to goad everyone into getting on who they would do better or betting on who they would do better. That makes more sense. If he caught a fish or shot a buck, and if it was bigger than yours, he would never let you forget it. Ethan was an avid hunter. Whether it was deer, rabbit, coyote, grouse, pheasant, or duck hunting, and he excelled. This past deer hunting season, his dad showed him how to process, process it's early, a deer. He made his own deer sausage and created beautiful head mounts. He loved fishing all year long and enjoyed his little boat, Bruce Jr., that he painted with his dad. As he travelled throughout his life, he wanted to stop at every waterhole to just try it. Ethan was a, was a calf roper and spent many days roping his dog, Misson, little brother. He was a mutton buster, calf and steer rider. He was very proud of being a champion bull rider and picked up a rodeo family during his rodeo travels. 
One of his favourite parts of Rodeo was Rodeo Queens, teasingly and smiling. Among all the things Ethan had done in his life, he entered the circle as a grass dancer with the encouragement of his friend Tristan Williams. At least he could say he tried it and was proud of it. His first grand entry was at the annual Little Shell celebration. His mum always called him the goat because whatever did whatever he did, he excelled in. She loved he loved cruising around in his black Chrysler 300 and listened to music with his friends. Ethan blazed trails everywhere he went and left his mark in hearts. We will love and miss him forever, and our memories will be cherished. Ethan was preceded in death by his maternal grandparents, Karen and Jimmy Chase, paternal grandparents Donald and Bula Chapman, Chapin, sorry, and his namesake, Uncle Vincent Vinnie Chapin. Ethan is survived by his parents, Louis Chapin, Bismarck, ND, Donald and Prairie Rose Chapin, Newtown ND, and siblings Arlen Young Eagle, Colony Rain Chapin, Juliana Debray, and Sonny Rose Wilkinson. Nephews, I'm not going to pronounce that, Charles Carter and Baby John, and his nieces Lily and Nova, his numerous bros, family, and friends. The family would like to thank you all who have helped during this difficult time. So there we have it. A small reading from the obituary of Ethan Chapin. Not to be confused with Ethan Chapin of Moscow, Idaho. So I think this was the young Ethan Chapin who has thrown up the confusion about an Ethan Chapin losing his life, sadly, in hospital. Rest in peace, both Ethans. And I shall catch you all in the next one.